Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how you can detect and delete duplicate photos in the Photos app on iOS 16. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So a new feature in iOS 16 is the ability to see duplicate photos in the Photos app and then choose what to do with them like merge them or delete one or the other. Here's how it works. First Apple puts this function in the Albums section. So you're going to go down to the bottom and tap on Albums. And you're going to see all of your albums there. Shared albums, people, places, different things like that. Media types and at the very bottom you're going to see Utilities. And one of those utilities is Duplicates. And it will show you the number of duplicates it has found right there. Now if you don't see a Duplicates folder there the reason probably is you simply don't have any duplicates. The Photos app hasn't found any photos that qualify as being duplicates and therefore no Duplicates folder will be shown under Utilities. Now it finds them in the background so this isn't something that works when you actually tap Duplicates. It's finding duplicates all the time. And it may take some time if you have a large photo library and you've just updated to iOS 16 or maybe you've just added a lot of photos. So if something happens in the background it may take a little while after you add new photos or update. It also probably depends on how big your library is. Now when you tap on Duplicates then you're going to go into this special album. And it's a list of all the photos that have been found that the Photos app thinks are duplicates. So it is finding photos that are identical. They're exactly the same photo taken exactly the same time, exactly the same bits in the photo. But it's also finding photos that might differ in some ways. For instance a photo may be a different resolution. Like maybe you exported it from Photos, edited it and resized it in another app and brought it back into Photos. So now you have two identical photos but at different resolutions. It may also find photos that are nearly identical. Maybe ones you took just one second after the other so they look extremely similar. So you can look through the list here and you can see I even have one that's there three times. So I can go through and browse through this like it's kind of an album and see the different duplicates. I can tap on one and then go down into the pair. And I can swipe between them and see each one. I can also tap at the bottom to switch between them which does it without the animation between them. So it may be a better way to see if they're actually identical or not. Take a look at this last one here. It's actually two different photos. I just pointed the iPhone down at the ground under my desk and took two photos and they're extremely similar. It's hard to tell the difference. But if you look closely you could see that they actually were taken at different times. This of course is my special photo collection for making tutorials. But my regular photos collection I actually have photos where there are people in them and you can see there are different photos. There's slight differences in the background or in the positions of people. It's very close but they're definitely not exactly the same photo. Still I may not want to have both photos in my library since they're so similar. Now you can get rid of duplicate photos one of a few different ways. One way is just to go into the pair and go between them and then the one you want to delete you use the trash can or bin icon down here to get rid of it. Another thing you could do is just tap the Merge button next to the date for the photo. And if they're identical well it really doesn't matter which one's deleted. They're the same photo so deleting one or the other is not going to make any difference. So what exactly does Merge mean then in that context? Well it's not always about the photo because sometimes you've got data attached to the photo like say a caption or you might have keyword tags and other information. When you use Merge it will preserve that. For instance let's take a look at this one right here. and Let's go in and you can see for the first one there's no caption there. But if I swipe over to the second one you can see there is a caption. So I created a caption and I didn't realize there was a duplicate. Now I have one without a caption and one with a caption. So the idea is by merging those two it's going to preserve that caption. It's going to make sure that the one and only one I have left has that caption. Let's try that. I'll tap Merge. Merge the two items. And notice that it now disappears from the Duplicates album because there's no longer a duplicate. There's only one of that photo. Now if I go to my library and find the photo and then I go and look at it I'll notice the caption was preserved. It was smart enough to make sure that caption 
now exist for that one and only copy of the photo. Now back in Duplicates what if I have two duplicate photos and each has a different caption. You can see here for the first photo I've got this caption and for the second photo I've got a different caption. So let me merge these two photos and see what happens. I'll merge them. disappears from here. Now when I go and find it in my library and take a look at the resulting photo I can see it took both captions and it put them one on one line, one on another, and I didn't lose either caption. And you can see here I've got a set of three and I can merge all three of these together. And here's two I've got and notice the sizes for these two. They're different sizes. So one of them was taken out of photos, resized and brought back in, but this Duplicates album recognized them as the same photo even though one has been resized. Now if I merge these two what happens is it's going to be smart enough to take the higher resolution one. So merging isn't somehow merging the pixels from one photo to another. I've already seen people misunderstand it that way. It's only going to take one of the photos. It's not going to do any kind of weird magic to try to merge two different photos to combine them. It's just taking the highest resolution version of the two photos and then merging the data between them like captions. Now here's another thing. If we go back here to Albums and to the Utility section there's Recently Deleted. If we go into Recently Deleted notice that when we merge photos one of them gets deleted and that deleted photo goes into Recently Deleted. So it's doing the right thing here. It's not getting rid of it and not allowing you any recourse to get it back. It's actually putting it here where it will sit there for 30 days. So if you did make a mistake in merging two photos that weren't the same or something like that then you can go to Recently Deleted and find it. So this utility in Photos is actually doing exactly what I've suggested over the years every time somebody has asked me how to get rid of duplicate photos. And that's to compare your photos side by side, figure out what's going on and delete the one that you don't want or if they're identical just delete either one. Don't let an automatic process just delete photos for you. Photos are too valuable to have an automatic process perhaps make a mistake. This utility puts those duplicates side by side rather than having you scroll through all of your photos. So it makes the process a little easier. And it also makes it very easy to merge any data in case you did put a caption on one and some other data on another. You don't have to manually take care of that when getting rid of duplicates. Now the same feature is coming to macOS Ventura. So unless you only have an iPhone I would wait and do this process on your Mac where you have a bigger screen and it's easier to see what's going on and work with it using a keyboard and trackpad or mouse. And since iCloud Photos works across all your devices it doesn't matter which one you do it on if you're using iCloud Photos. Now this won't get rid of the root problem why you have duplicate photos. Maybe you just have a few created by a few simple mistakes over the years. But if you constantly have duplicate photos you've got to figure out why. Maybe you're doing something like using both iCloud Photos but you're still connecting a cable and manually syncing photos. Maybe you're overriding the duplicate detection when you import photos. Maybe you're using some sort of third party app to edit the photos and it's creating a copy every time it does that. It's important to figure out what's going on if duplicate photos are a persistent problem for you. Fix that problem or change your behavior so this doesn't become a common occurrence. But at least now when somebody does have existing duplicate photos instead of trying to figure out how to compare them and get rid of them there's an easy function inside the Photos app that they could go to to do that. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.